Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jane, but I mean, you already knew that. Unless you're new here, then you didn't know that, and if you didn't know that, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's okay. It's right down here, so just click it. Today's video is the most requested video on my channel at the moment, and that is how I put in my clip-in extension, so don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, like honestly. If you're not following me, what are you doing? I mean, girl, you are missing a lot. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, like click the like button, like for real. So if you want to see how I go from this to this, then keep on watching. To start off, these are the extensions that I use. They're not a specific brand or anything literally just bought them on Amazon for $30 and they shipped in from Hong Kong. These are 10 pieces, 100% human hair. Some people have eight pieces, some people have seven. I have 10. First I'm taking this comb and I'm literally just kind of brushing all my hair straight up and my hair loves to stay sticking up so it's not like I need a hair tie or to put it in a bun or anything like that. And after that, I'm going to make a part at the bottom of my head just by taking this comb and brushing some hair down. And that's how I make only the first part. And after that, I'm doing the obvious, brushing this clip in a little bit, unclipping it. And I'm clipping it as close to my part as possible, but it does not have to be right on the part you made. And after that, I'm taking my finger to section off another piece of hair, grabbing my comb to kind of brush it down so it covers the tracks of the last clip in I put in. And once I do that, I basically grab another clip in. This is another two piece. And once again, I clip it in as close to my part as possible, but it does not have to be exactly on the part once again and after that I'm taking a one piece clip in and I like to call these fillers because they they're just there to add more volume and stuff like that or so I basically just put that clip in right next to that other two piece and I repeat the process by you know using my finger to create a part and coming it down to cover the tracks brushing unclipping and putting as close to the part I made as possible and so once I do that I'm just taking another filler and I am clipping it kind of closer to my ear and repeating the process once again taking this two-piece clip in I'm just going to clip it in closer to my edge to kind of help round my head a little more and after that I am just going to take my comb you know brush some hair down so it covers the tracks and don't forget to leave out about this much hair because you're going to need it to cover the top of your tracks so after that I'm taking a three-piece clip in and this one is going to circle around once you're done clipping that piece in and after that what you're gonna do is you're just going to take the rest of your hair and I just kind of started making some weird parts because next all I'm going to do is just cover the tracks of that last piece and then add in some fillers so I'm adding this filler up top for more volume up top and then I'm adding this filler to the bottom for more length and volume right there and then finally I'm adding this last filler to the top once again for more volume up top and then I'm taking this comb and I'm just kind of like making my hair go both ways and kind of setting the tone for it to stay down a little better and then I'm taking a brush and really just brushing it out now and brushing it down and all of that. Next come the bobby pins and 
You can always use a straightener and straighten your hair into the extensions, but I don't like doing that because I would have to do that on the daily, and that's just too much heat for my hair. Or you can also use some hairspray to keep it down, but I also feel like that's too much product. So I just stick with the bobby pins, and after that I just brush my hair once again, brush it all out, and make sure it looks good. And this is the final look, the before and after. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!